Robinson, bringing you the first talk for TV in the new semester. And I'm Austin Helseth. We hope that your second semester is off to a flying start. A week from tomorrow, the show choir will be traveling to Cedar Rapids, Iowa for a brand new competition. Here's Matthew Hobbick with the story. This is Matthew Hobbick reporting about a new show choir competition coming up next week. It's almost four hours away, oh my God. and we've never been there before, so we'll perform really early in the day. So I think we'll do pretty well, but it's a new one, so we're going to have to work really hard. And there's some really big powerhouse groups there, so, so we'll just be, up in the air. It's it, more for experience. Who's going to be at Cedar Rapids? Um, I know some really top groups like Waukee are going to be there. I'm not really sure about the other ones, but... Okay, are you doing anything special to get ready? Uh, usually I curl my hair in the morning just so I can have time to get ready um, earlier so I can watch all the other groups. In order to get ready for our show, we go on over vocal changes and important vocal things. And then we go to the warm-up room and we do choreography and we go over the most important choreography and we go over blocking. And if there are any changes, we go over those changes as well. So how is the season going so far for you? Um, we're doing really well. We haven't lost a competition yet. We've won all of them. So we're all really, really proud and happy with the outcomes. This is Matthew Hobbock signing out. We just danced with the Hilltoppers. Now what, Daniel? Next we're going to visit with the forensics team. Here's Larson Birdsong. This is Larson Birdsong with Topper TV, coming to you with a story about forensics. No, I want to do like a little... Like no, a it little... doesn't really work because we're all like sad. Yeah. So forensics is basically our school speech team. Uh, there's many different kinds of areas that you can compete for and you go to competitions, sub-districts, regionals, and states. So it's basically like any other competitive sport. We just speak instead of play. So, but I mean, you know, if you just don't want to be like this. Kurt Vonnegut one side, because what's up there? I mean, as a judge, I want to know what Kurt interesting Bonnegut thing is there. I'm doing a memorized scene from a play for forensics, and I memorized that by rereading the script a whole bunch of times. Um, it's from Richard III. Um, I like being able to perform a scene with my friend and get feedback from qualified judges. I like forensics because it challenges me and I can go to competitions and I can tell my story. I can give literary examples because my um, competition, the one I do, is Farrago. So I have a thesis and I support my thesis with literary pieces. And it helps you get more of a literary palette. Good luck, forensics team. Back to the studio. You know public speaking is an important job skill to have. If you're interested in developing your own professional skills, remember that February is Career and Technical Education Month, and OHS has a wide range of business and tech ed classes from which to choose. Our final story today is about a team that will be competing at the state contest this weekend. Kyle Olson brings us the scoop on the ski and snowboard team. This is Kyle Olson with some news on a team that really doesn't get a whole lot of attention. Ski and snowboard is, you know, certainly an interesting one because it's so weather dependent, and I, I know this week's weather won't be any any easier for them. But they re certainly returned some experience that they have from last year's team with um, Matty Knorr leading um, many of the early meets that that they've had this year, um, and has performed well in conference. Also, I know Missy Plunkett is is a returning um, force from from last year too, um, and on the boys' side, Preston Lyons. Um, you know, will play a major role in, in some of the placing that they do as well this year. So for state this year, we're going to be racing GS, Slalom, and Super G, which is all going to be at Mount Cross, and we've been training for a while this year, so hopefully it goes well. I really enjoyed racing, especially because in Germany I never raced before. I like did skiing competitive, and especially Super G, it's really fun. And just being out there every day in the snow outside, and I'm really excited for State this weekend, and I hope everyone is going to do good. <laughs> hey guys, this is Kyle Olson with Topper TV, signing out. We'll be back in two weeks with your next Topper TV. Insert catchphrase here, signing out.
Dance with the hip, 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 hip toppers. <laughs>